Hi everybody. We are back for our last lesson in topic four. Um, we're doing lesson four nine, modeling with math. And if you'll remember, modeling just means to make a picture, to show it in some way that we can all see it with our eyes. So I'm gonna read the problem first, and then we'll talk about what the problem's looking for. Kim puts some 25 toys into an empty box. Then she puts 17 more toys in the, in the toy box. How many toys are in the box in all? Okay, remember sometimes it's helpful if we take the numbers out and read the problem without the numbers so we can really visualize it. Kim puts some toys into an empty toy box. Then she puts some more toys into the toy box. How many toys are in the box in all? So here we see a big old box. So we're starting out putting 25 toys in there. I'm gonna draw a box. 25 toys go into the box and then 17 more toys go into the box how much is this how many toys are going to be in the box well we need to add that do you see that we're putting them all together we're combining so 25 plus 17 We've learned so many different ways to solve this problem. If you'd like to pause the video and work it yourself and then see if you, your answer matches mine, that would be a great idea. The first way I'm gonna model this is with place value blocks or base 10 blocks. So I'm gonna draw 20, two tens, five, and 17, so 10, and seven ones, while I'm doing this, I'm actually going to do expanded form at the same time. So you can kind of see how they match. 25 is 20 plus 5. 17 is 10 plus 7. These numbers match our models. This is 20 and this is 5. Over here we have 10 and 7 ones. So this is really the same. It's just shown differently. If we put this together, we'll see that we have 12 ones and 30 tens, which is what we have over here. And we know that we can't have 12 in the ones place. So we're going to have to regroup 10 ones. So R over the top of it and moving that to the tens place. Over here, some people can add this mentally and some might rather say this is the same as 10 plus two and then they can put their tens together even more, 40 plus two. Over here now we have 40 plus two. So either way we got 42 toys. All right, um, this isn't walking through another one with Eric, I am, I will explain this, but again, if this doesn't make a bunch of sense to you, then let's not worry about that. Eric has some crayons. He buys a box of some crayons. How many crayons does Eric have in all? We're going to put those together. So Eric has 29 crayons, and then he buys a box of 16 more. They have two, the bar has 29 and 16. Those are the two parts that we're putting together. And the whole thing, we're going to have to add to find out what the whole thing is. 29 plus 16. They're using the compensation strategy, which we haven't talked about in a while. But they're going to add 1 to this 29. They're going to take one of them away from 16 to make the 29 into 30. So 30 plus 15 might be an easier problem to solve. Let's just not do the convince me for this one. Number one, we're gonna, we're gonna try to use the bar model if it makes sense, but if not, we're gonna use our favorite strategy. Flora has 24 books about birds. She has 18 books about bugs. How many books is that? So we're putting her books together, her bird books and her bug books, and we can show that in a bar model but we still have to add it together. Grab that handy dandy scratch paper 
and I'm going to model 24. And I'm going to model 18. And I'm going to put it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to regroup this over here to the tens place. Now I've got four in the tens and two in the ones. That's funny, that was our, our last sum. So 42 books. All right, let's do number two now. Barb saw 14 cars on Smith Street. She saw eight cars on Alfred Street. How many more cars did Barb see on Smith Street? Okay, here we're not going to add. We're comparing here. We're comparing the number of cars she saw on Smith Street to the number of cars she saw on Alfred Street. When we compare, we're going to subtract to find what's different. So Smith Street had 14 cars. Alfred Street had eight cars. How many more would it need to have the same as Smith Street? Is what comparing questions are asking. So we are going to have to subtract. 14 minus 8 equals what? We can also look at it as 8 plus something, just like we did here. We did 24 plus 18 equals this. 8 plus something equals 14. I hope that you can know your addition facts and know what this question mark is. If not, we can draw eight counters. And then we can add up to get to 14. When I do this, it's helpful for my counters to look different. So I'm just going to draw a very small circle. So we're at eight. We have to get to 14. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and so I had to put one, two, three, four, five, six more. So this is six. All right, you still with me? All right, let's walk through the ones that you can do independently. Look, it's only three questions on the front. It says make a model to show each problem. It doesn't say what kind of model you have to make. You have to understand what the problem is asking you and then solve it your way. Avi takes 16 pictures. Then he takes 17 more pictures. How many pictures does Avi take? He's reminding you, remember you can use different models. Be ready to explain how your model shows the problem. Number four, Tina picks 55 blueberries. Next, Tina eats six of these blueberries. Then she picks 27 more. How many blueberries does she have now? Just pause it and come back when you're ready for me to read the next one. Number five, Raj finds 47 acorns in his front yard. He finds 29 acorns in his backyard. How many acorns does Raj find in all? Okay, just pause it while you work it and then come back. This page, these are about this set of information. It says African Safari. The Santos family is on an African safari. How exciting. The chart at the right, over here, shows the number of animals that they see. How many animals do they see? So here, it, the title says number of animals. Giraffes, this means they saw 15 giraffes. Elephants, they saw nine. Lions, 16. Zebras, they saw 11. So first, what do you know? What information do you have? And what are you asked to find? Okay, so what do we know? And what is the question? What are we having to solve? Pause and come back when you're ready for number seven. Seven says make a model to help you find the number of animals they see. Be ready to explain why you chose the model you did. So some kind of way to work it out. Any kind of way that w that's like a picture that we can all see. Number eight, what other model could you use to show the problem? 
Uh, make another model. Explain which model you think is better. All right, guys. Um, I hope this is something that you're excited to tackle. This is the last the last activity for topic four, um, and we'll be back soon with your next lesson. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. As always, bye, guys.